Hello everyone, this is Nancy. Welcome back to our live tutorial. Happy Saturday. Hope everyone have a great Saturday. I am so excited to do a live tutorial today because um, it's gonna be a last day of the week. We do live video. We got to watch Sarah this really cool live videos earlier. So if you miss her live video, you can always be watching them from um, her IGTV. I think she's have it post on IGTV and um, you can able to view her. Hello, um, Angie, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Hi, Zoe, how are you? Hi, Real Nails, hi, Cece. Luigi, hello, how are you? Happy Saturday, hope everyone doing great. I'm gonna send it quick, really quick. Um, sharing my video so then everybody can rewatching them. It looks like it's so blurry though. No. Okay, just Very maybe fine. on my end. And it looks blurry. Can everyone see okay? Hey, Marie. Hey, Angie. Hey, Zoe. No, hey, Henry. How are you? Happy Saturday. How are you, and Henry? Thanks so much for tuning in. Hi Bri, how are you? Hey Jojo, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Great to have everyone today. Hi uh, Francis. Drika, hello, how are you? Hi Siti. Thank you so much everyone. This is, was the last uh, night. It was fun tutorials, so if you miss it, you can always be watching them from our um, Facebook page or IGTV, and YouTube will upload later. So today we're gonna do something really cool and fun, and I am going to share with you because we have a lot of um, people asking for this. It looks so plain when you're seeing it from this, but if you open it out, it's like, you totally open it up and you can totally see 10 different places in gold and it's really cool and attractive and I'm gonna do it today. I just wonder if you want to do it like with me using a matte top coat or shiny top coat. Either way, it was works really best, um, the best. Um, can you get me a true Hey Thanks so much, Lugiji. Thanks so much for the love and support. Dini, thank you everyone. All right, so let's go into the today tutorial. It's gonna be uh, so much fun and I am going to show, show four different nails using that um, channel for voice. And also I am going to using second anniversary crystal kit. So then you can able to see there's a lot of different cool shapes and I'm gonna place it on the nails. This nails that I did, it will yesterday and we using um foil number 15 so just for your information i am going to move this away and we will doing a new one today and i have four different colors of the nails and one of them i have in in like have a, a pink colors like more is a hot pink a dark pink however you would like okay And I also placed some of the crystals, which is the opal drop. And it's gonna be cool with this gold rose lace. And I am going to apply the um, camphor foil gels. There's two different ones. If you're using the camphor foil, a premium 
shampoo foil, which is in a cute black bottles here, is you need to cure for 30 seconds only. It's keep getting blurry. It's blurry. It's blurry. Yep. She said it's uh, keep blurry. Let me see, it's gonna be better. Wait, everybody give it a second, it will get better. Is it, is it, it's okay. The videos keep getting blurry. Is that better now? The other end is better now. Okay, we'll give it a minute because seem everyone thinks still blurry, so we are fixing it right now. Just a second. Hi, Foxy. Hello. How are you? Shiny claws. Oh, it's better. Okay, good. I'm so glad it's better. So we're gonna go ahead and using a chanfer for premium eye hole. If you're using a chanfer foil in a white bottle, so you wanna make sure you keep it for 60 seconds. So I am going to use premium eye hole chanfer foil gel. So today I'm gonna features to show you with the look of the new chan for foy number 34 all right so key this one for 30 seconds hi in it how are you All right. Thanks so much for tuning in in it. Yeah, all right, so then we're gonna do another one too. We're gonna to use all the chanfer foils and each of them will have a different um, design. So this one is really cool and I am go ahead and using this. Let's give a little bit cute background though. doesn't matter wherever you would like to place them on. I should place them a little bit higher up there. And I have a lot of like have a oil on my hand. I just put cuticle oils on. So I'm going to using dual end tweezers. It's really cool and it's helped me um, give good pressures. You can see that it just come right off. You can see that how it transfer really cool and I'm go ahead and apply the condenser gels I'm gonna do crystal placement on this this really cool though you can do in black I think that black will turn out really good too pink will looks good I can't wait to see a brighter colors because we do, it's really thick density, so you can just need to blend it. And I need the no wipe top coat. Would you like to see this in a matte top coat or no wipe top coat? Buy some chan for four and suddenly forgot to buy the gel chan for four. Uh, shiny claws, get some because you still get to 20% off right now for the holidays. Um, it works a magic. So, okay, so I'm waiting for your answer for everyone. We should, should we do matte? No wipe. Okay. Oh, okay. So, why don't we do hi, money? 
How are you? So we'll do no wipes, two designs in no wipes, and then two designs in matte top coat. How about that? Hi, April. Hi, Rosa. So I want to do no wipe on this one. And with the other ones, we will use a matte top coat. Hi, Foxy. I just want to make sure I say hello to everyone. Happy Saturday, everyone. Hope everyone have a great day. I always keep myself busy. So I'm floating on the top of this. And before this, I am going to show you. I did span one of this already. But I'm going to put this one in my banner. And place that the two right here. And it give it press. And it helped bend this one really nicely. You can see that right there. It's look cool though, it stay nice, even though it stay on the top of the frame. Buttons really like it because, let me move just a little bit. Because absolutely, it will go and blend really nice on. I am using some of the brighter colors, yellows. Hmm. Super cute. This, um, I have to say, this is really fun uh, crystal placement and chandra foil. I would like to take it one step back and say thank you so much for the love and support. And we are gonna have a lot of tutorial doing a lot of dramatic also we will like step back and go back to our crystal placements um, a lot of fun and basics to have a lot of beginners if you are just first time tuning in or first time really watching our um, live tutorials this is gonna be for you as well um, we always gonna be on your side, support you. Um, just really wanna dip from my heart on behalf of our entire team. Really, really appreciate the love and support and always supporting us as we always supporting you. And there's a lot of tutorial if you are as like a pros watching us from beginnings for past three years and um, be patient with us we can always going back to the back to basics for a lot of beginners um so for this it's just like chanfa foil but crystal placement me myself personal i feel i grow over a period of time as well with all of you so thanks to you for the love and support and always participate with me um throughout the live tutorial for past three years um I would say two years, but then throughout the time, it will be like three years going. So thank you so much. Um, and it's really cool though. I just, what am I supposed to do? I supposed to use a gold 
and I have a gold and uh, silver and rose gold, which is not bad at all. And for the beginners, if you place any crystal placement, uh, do not afraid of to challenge yourself. Um, as long as you place your crystal close and tight to next to each other's and um, I'm sharing one of the concept that it worked so well with us and it was really successful with us once you know you perform the services with the clients so we are not um, uh, afraid of to share with you so um, is I'm using is is uh, three-step methods which is I'm using condensed blue gels really thick density and it keep all your flat backs crystal 3d crystal charms and chains stay in nice place so you and your clients can be like really sit back and ensure the crystal will stay so much longer So hope everyone have a great Saturday. Okay. Looks so cool. But also Hey, thank you, Zoe. All right, so I just want to make sure that everybody can see both reading comments. So I'm using like a uh, clear yellow crystal. So if you place other crystal, I think it looks great as well. We do have a client ask about this, how to do all like clear crystal. So I really want to share with everyone. And so like, doesn't matter, you can call it back to basics or you can call is funds in advance, however you would like, and I really hope you are enjoying it. So if you want this one more, like it's more funds, you can absolutely do more with this, but I think it looks so stunning. I like that. And we can clear this one for 60 seconds. And now we are moving to the next one. We have a clear. No, actually we have a yellow nails. And we're gonna wait to all of them and do precision glue at the same time. So then everyone can join us right now. Move on to the next one. I am going to using other tempo foil gels because we have a lot of uh, people were asking both between a premium IHO Chanfer Foy and Chanfer Foy. So I am going to use this Chanfer Foy. Apply it. And all entire nails and here for 60 seconds. Make sure you're floating it enough. You don't want to have it not enough. Um, hi Maya, hi Debbie, hi Annie Ray, hello, how are you? This is the look and we are going to do precision glue on all of them at the same time. If you like this looks, um, I think it's really simple and we can go through all the cracks and um, edges of crystal and this looks, usually it's done by now but if you can see that all the edges of you know between the charms and the crystal might catching on the client's hair and the nails and all the clothes so we're gonna using precision glue to absolutely double secure it so then that way the clients and you can feel really good uh, they're staying on and it's not coming off so the other one still here um, it needs to care 60 seconds. Make sure you care for 60 seconds. I am going to do this look. Um, this another 34, number 34, and then this one a different. And then you can do 
I think it's gonna look so stunning in the black too. Yeah, you can do it in the black colors. I think it looks great. I am going to play this one right there. Give it a good press on. I can't ex and like so excited on Tuesday we're gonna do some really cool ombre um, liquid gun powder and crystal placements and a lot of other designs so so I have some oil on my nails as I have the uh, cuticle oils on I feel like really slippery so I'm not using my duo and it's really cool look at this it's rubbed right on the nail surface You can see that so I'm using this is I Ho Chan for Foy so if you're using this one make sure you give for 60 seconds uh, I'm gonna go back and forth the next one I'm gonna do is um, uh, premiums I Ho and then but this one we going to we did using uh, Chan for Foy in a white bottle and now we are gonna finish we'll do a crystal placement but we're gonna using a matte top coat the other ones we do shiny top coat and this one we're going to do a matte top coat if you are using a matte top coat just want to show you this quick to see how it chan for everything and if you're using a matte um, if you're using um, the crystal placement instead of doing a no wipe top coat on the top you will using a condensed blue gels and then a matte top coat and it's gonna give you a matte soy look now we're gonna apply. If for you, for any of you who are first time using our condensed glue gel, it is absolutely is normal when you feel really thick density. So I'm gonna blend this nicely and apply the matte top coat on the top of this condensed glue gels. Oh, thank you, Foxy. All right, so let me apply floating on the top. I'm excited with this. And let's see. So cute piece I really like this it looks so boring if you're seeing it by itself but you incorporate it with a lot of different cool uh, crystals so should we do a red on this one we do red on this crystal uh, on this design it gonna look um, really stunning Hi Tammy, hey Tammy from Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in. How are you? Hope you have a great Saturday. I can't believe it's all these like Saturday time just flies so fast. I might need some of your question, okay? Because I am going to look at it in just a second. This is really one of my favorite BPs. My Scarlet's Red. I am really obsessed with this. Alright.
and this um this all the the charms that you seeing it i'm using this really cool stunning um obsidian charms collections one of the newest one and i have so much fun to play with this kind of give it contrast a really strong two color together I am gonna adjusting it right before Let's pull that one in. And just as long as you place them really tight and close together, they're really like gonna stay for you. This the cool techniques. Focus on placements and the design, which I prefer is for all of you who um, have some of the products with glitz and you have foil and crystal placement, you can easy to achieve this look. And if you, your clients don't want all the beads, you absolutely can just leave it alone and here. But if the clients want a little bit more like uh, jewelry, you can add scissors on. And you see me do a lot of crystal placement on uh, the cuticles area is this time I would like to show you. You can do in the middle of the nails, or you can do on like uh, one third of the nails. All right, so I am going to cure this for 60 seconds. Before that, if you need to adjusting any of the uh, crystals, you're gonna do it now before you cure it. Let's cue this and then see how it turned out for us. That pretty red. Hello, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Great. All right, so we are like going to the third one. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy from Facebook. Is the that's gorgeous. The red is really makes that turquoise pop. I agree. It's really cool. And then next I am going to do is this colors. Um, and uh, 
Lincoln should change it to the pink one as well. Sure. Right here on the kits. This one is toning to the matte look. This is the matte finish. All right, so going to the next one, we're gonna using a silver beads and frame also with our neon. And I got one piece of neon, but I'm gonna swap it to the pink one for the neons to make that is really um, stand out. And again, I am going to using, we are going back to our uh, premiums. I have a for four. I am going to alternate back and forth with uh, this one, you believe it here is going to cure it. Wipe it up, please. All right, so premium I hold chan for foy, and this one we're going to cure is for 30 seconds. It feels like really cool, but also it's really boring because. What is the hell is she doing back and forth? But this is will be great for uh, all of you who is, you know, first start doing with, you know, crystal placement or start introduce a lot of different cool new techniques. And this is the video is really cool and perfect. Hi, Marisa. Hey. Are they talking about the food? Okay, so I might miss a lot of your questions. So, and this design, it looked like a lace flowers. Let's see if I can get it. How does that look? Oh, look cool though. So you can change anything you want. And you don't have. You don't have to stay in the same like a patterns. You can do, do whatever feel you want to. Again, my finger just might get a uh, cuticle oil. I just have it a little bit on the top. Just lay it back up. This design, I really like it too. You can really like, this one look cool though. I think I might do some, I don't know if I want to do a centerpiece on this. Should we do the centerpiece or should we decorate it, this flowers? You pick. Looks really cool though. Centerpiece, it looks good as well, like right in the center. Decorate a bunch of stuff. Let's take our centerpiece. Let's see. Centerpiece, decorate. <gasps> That's why it's calling my name. Mm -hmm. That's Listen why. This, please. All right, but we have another one for the centerpiece. We can do that. And also, I really, it's so cute though. You can see all background underneath what it is. We can just, you can, we can dress it up as well. So, so it's a decorating. And then on the last name, we do centerpiece. Yeah, we'll do decorate on this one. It looks cool. Okay, so condensed glue gels.
The reason is because we get the good pattern. And then this one doesn't matter whatever uh, the foil, wherever you lay on it, it looks turn out really beautiful. So you gotta explain it yourself because I was planning on doing something else. And then when I lay it different angle, it just turned out freaking awesome. Look at that. It's hard to see though. But let's do something fun with this one. Uh. And I'm going to put the no white top coat on. And next one, we're gonna using the um, matte top coat. And with the condensable gel, make sure you blend it. It's really thick density. And I am going to do change the plants because we have a really cool. Um, what really cool the um, design for silver, but I am going to using this <laughs> one compartment in a second anniversary kit is all of uh, Mega Mix. It's really fun and sometimes, you know, seeing like this, I get everything is prepared for all of you, but it's gonna turn out really cool because we're gonna start playing with this now. And I'm so excited that I have all of you doing it with me. Um, It's really fun and it's kind of um, challenging though but I really enjoying it because in a worst case I can always take it off and do it over so I'm not afraid of to try something new There are more than that in the kits, but I just um, do part of it.
Marissa asks, how did you get blue gel out of the pot? Just get the right amount. She thinks she gets way too much. Yeah, just get the right amount of it, Marissa. Don't get too much. And this is because it's thick density. So just get enough like you are of my uh, taco, but not too thin, but not too thick. Because if you get it too thick, then it might flood your crystals. I'm playing with a little bit right now. This I say, I am doing a challenge right now because, like, basically, I am creating a new look with everyone right now. So, bear with me. It's so much fun, but also, it's like, in the meantime, sometimes it's boring because, say, hey, what's she doing it? I'm going to my rose gold. Um, rose gold, I think there's back in the stock now. Rose gold mix, I think. Supreme's mix. I absolutely love this. I don't know what it's like it's called for this but it looks weird but see now it's fun just create it and see how it turned out for us. Let me see if I can able to get everyone's questions. I might miss some question though, so bear with me, okay? So I am basically place a lot of the charms along with my crystals and on the top of the chamfer foil. And it's staying nice and flat on the nails. I feel it's missing something. Do you think so? It's missing something that I can't feel like I'm missing some color, you think? I might need this like it looks good though, but I still feel like I'm missing something. Hi, Marandi. Hey. 
forever frame around this because if I do a frames for that is anything it might be too busy or I don't put enough crystals I might figure it out later when I sleep tonight I might figure it out then I will let everybody know okay I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds before that I still have something I'm gonna put it in figure it out well you can you can end on hmm. I might dream about it tonight and I will let you know what I mean then. But I'm filling it in to see how it turned out. But how much fun you can play with this, like Supreme's Rose Gold. That's one of my really um, fun charm to play with. You said frame for this one? Who's that, Mirandi? Hold on, who something say something? Uh, who say who's told me that? No, what? About the frames on the top? Did you tell me? Who was that? Uh, Mirandi? Is that you? I can't, like, I can't see the comment from far that, away. Yeah, that actually, that's really nice. You put the frame on. You find the crystal more. You can like do the thing too. I suppose you put the frame first and do this, but I did this exactly what. <laughs> it worked. Okay, is that what you mean? Because I thought that it was in the other one. But I think I put this in the right frame. Okay. I think the thing is with Sonia. I think they're confirming it. What is that? Sonia. Oh, Sonia? Sonia. Sonia, tell me. Okay, is that right? Good. Okay, I'm really enjoying this. This weekend, um, this week live tutorial is awesome. It is for you. It's all about you. And I got to participate. You are the one doing it. Um, well, you are the one that created it. I'm the one that got to do it for you. So here you go. Here for 60 seconds now I feel a little bit better now um because I feel something missing what he said is uh, crooked he's so picky I don't know what crooked though no. well like oh, it just wow. doesn't seem like it moves straight from the center it's a little bit off center it's okay it's not supposed to be perfect but oh you know what you might be Picasso try something like this is a hit anything, but hey, if you look good, they look good. Hey, let me find more. Oh my god, our live video is going to be three hours again, everyone. I love you all. Thank you so much for staying with me, supporting me, join with me. I have so many ideas for this one. Yeah, people seem to enjoy it. All right, so I'm going to cure it because otherwise I'm going to put whole tray into this. Here for this one and we're gonna do precision glue later for this and then we're gonna do it to the next one
another vlog. Ten minutes. That last one. Ten minutes is okay. It's worth it when I got to spend time with my ladies, and they all have cool ideas. And that one's stunning, stunning, stunning. I don't know what this color called. It's light green. Mm, uh, which yeah, one did we use? Hmm? Earlier we did the premiums. Uh, I hold Chan for Foy. Now we're doing it Chan for Foy gel. So I'm go back and forth. So, like for any of you who is, um, getting the Chan for Foy gel from the white bottles or Chan for Foy premiums from the black bottles, this is for you. I want to make sure that I do show both of them. So if any of you get it, you can able to achieve the same look that I do. Here this one, but this white bottle I hold Chan before it next needs to be 60 second here. Alright, so next one is oh okay, go. Oh, this one is sunny. You know what? We still cover the foil anyway. <laughs> but it's give us a patterns for the patterns for the design. So, the patterns from not picky perfectionist right here. Mm -hmm. uh, he's perfectionist. He's like stop like critics on us. <laughs> That's because I inspire you, Nancy. E, thank you, Foxy. Yeah, you Granny apple green. Oh, okay. That's the call the colors. It's really cool though. So now I didn't get to do this neon. We're gonna do it on uh Monday. This one is cool though. It has flowers and all stuff. Let me see. Is it really cool? Let me see if I can get all the flowers. There My nails, my hands, my fingers had to oil. I just take it off. Chan for like everything. Look. If you can see that. Thank you, Debbie. She said it's um, this color is Granny Green Apple, Apple Green. I think. Okay. I, I mean, to say you inspire us, Nancy. Wow, my phone is autocorrect at the wrong place. <laughs> no, you ladies inspire us. I guess it's like we appreciate it so much, and I really enjoy you, ladies, so much. Thank you so so much. Okay. So condensed blue gels, we just need a good small, like I don't say it's like, if you get your um, nails like that nails, you don't need that much. It's too much for the nails. You probably need maybe one third of this. That much. That is when you apply whole nails. If you apply like just a little spot, you don't need that much. And because it's really thick densities already. And now we're gonna using a matte top coat, right? Because the other ones we did uh, shiny, now we're going to the matte top coat. And floating on the top, if you're using a matte top coat and you want matte finish, just make sure you're floating on the top. And 
and I I bend this one using a frame bender. And that's when I did it frame bender. So it stay nice and flat on mine. And this one I'm using charms. All right, what colors I want to do it today? I'm using some purple. my feet yeah, Sonia said earlier that um, you want me to put the frame on I still didn't get what you're saying I said what a frame I just couldn't find the place and then when I start doing it I said oh that's right have two minutes left for this and I am going to tear this and we will be right back okay do you like this so I'll give it one second I'm gonna watching that before it's end and we'll be absolutely it's gonna be back with the precision glue just be back with me it's gonna be uh, finishing all of that and ready yep i'm going to add a couple more bits and we will hear this and we will see you and uh, right back with the videos live again all right should we end now all right show the camera we'll see we'll see you in like just a minute we'll be right back ladies Thanks so much, Lily. Lily, do you like this design? Ah, this one is way.
this for Facebook right here. I am going to key it. Just for second, I'm gonna key this one. And we will do presume rule with all of them. me Oops, hello. hello everyone so welcome back to our live tutorial I'm so excited because we're gonna go back for the second round of our live video and hi Sarah how are you Thanks, Sarah, for tuning in. Okay, I think did I do a matte top coat on that one? Okay, cool. So we did four of them. We did the shiny and the different like um, the same set of the foil but different like design. And this one, this one, this one, and then this one. So now I'm gonna go in using precision glue on all of them. So today is really cool. I like to take it back to basics from uh, for all of you who is um, just start doing crystal placement and it's going to be fun to design it for you all right so let me using my precision glue it's right here on my sizes the top cap will take you to the needle part which is that you can using it's really precise on all the edge caps, cracks of the crystals and charms, chains and frames. So each time you use, you're gonna use just a little bit. Let me squeeze it out. But before I squeeze it, you can see the little um, glue gels coming out, but I will do a little cover exam first. And I feel scratchy right here. I can feel that. And also when you do that, your clients also feel it too. This is really cool, awesome, um, double secure all the crystal and charms so then when the clients wearing this they feel so good and secure it's never gonna catching on stuff on their hair or their clothes for instance if they have expensive like scarf or even a cute scarf that they're wearing you don't want them or sweaters you don't want them to catch it on and pull everything out of it so I'm gonna feel it in Before I cure it, I am going to using my tinted brush and this is on the other end. Here's a my detail brush. I'm gonna give it a really quick swipe. This one, this cool tips and tricks will blend all the extras precision glue that you don't want because you don't want them to look lumpy and bumpy after you cure. And 
making it tag free so you can just like all right so now we're gonna gear this for six seconds move on to the next one same thing you're gonna feel it first and with charms I feel that you know it's had a lot of cracks and all the edges I really want to make sure I double secure just check it first and when you in the meantime you're checking it you feel like right here scratchy right here and you're gonna squeeze just a little bit and you don't want to do too much to like flooded your crystals you want to seal it but not flood it like all over on the top of your crystals right here on the edges Hey Sarah, she said I didn't see you on IG live. I sent it to you, Sarah. I'm so glad you're tuning in. I don't know why you didn't see I sent it to you. But I think maybe Lady sent it too. So we though. Would you have two accounts, Sarah? I was wondering. Me too, and so then sometimes I miss it, you know. So i using my tinted brush uh, on the other end. Why I did tap that for uh, the hair right there. And cure this one for 60 seconds. All right, so this one, all right, so we have a lot of questions regarding to this one because we're using a matte top coat. So here is a tip and trick. You still have to like go into all that cracks and gaps right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I feel it. I'm gonna just like end it in. And don't afraid of to feel it and seal that because, and it's gonna give you a shiny, but it's okay. And we're gonna go back. And we're gonna touch up with the no wipe top uh, with the matte top to make it looks back to matching. Give it a swipe. All right, and last one. This one I'm not too. I'm gonna feel it too. I feel scratchy right here right here so when you do a mat do not afraid of to fill this one in and I'm gonna show you a tip and trick to put it back on the mat back in so then you don't feel like you have matte finish but a bunch of like a no wipe which is a precision glue residue in there it doesn't look attractive at all just make sure that you're doing it first seals all of this cracks and gaps between crystals and blend this one out. Give it a swipe. And cure this one for 60 seconds. Let me get my uh, stone. Dead. I'm good. Hi, Libra. How are you? All right. So for this, make sure you close this red cap. Do not do this red cap away. Um, close it to prevent from spilling or clogging my um, needles. And if you want to use a brush, a precision brush on the side, the other end you can just use this and for instance if you want to add some of the crystal like sometimes I forget one or two crystals smaller ones I can use this brush also in the needles as well at your convenience I can add it here 
and place one or two crystal or the beads in there. So this is really handy and it's a little go a long way. And now I'm gonna using a matte top coat. Just give it a drop. The reason it is you wanna go back and touch it up with this because um, I don't know, it's different of salon, but our salon, when the matte top coat finish, it will be additional chalks for that, like five to $10. It really depends on you have the matte top coat on what service. So I'm gonna using my twin tip brush and you can't really seeing it, like not much, but I can seeing it the matte and the shiny, it looks like a little bit shiny here. So I'm go ahead and using my twin tip brush with the matte top coat and kind of blend it in. You don't want to give it a whole big lumps in there. You want to give it a swipe and blend it in. So it will actually it covers all of um, like precision's uh, glue gel residues right there because it's shiny. So I think I got it good. But after you gear, you feel some spot is still like shiny using like your tinted brush and give it another swipe. All right, here for 60 seconds. Where you wait for this one? Also this one too. You can see that little residues right there. I don't know if you can see closer, it's shiny. Um, can you do this one? Because this one a matte top coat. This one is the matte top coat. So this is the this is answer all the questions for all of you who have matte top coat and clients like one matte instead of shiny. So then you can still do crystal placements really well. Just make sure you go back with the matte um, top to give it the completely look matte. You don't want to like matte on the nails in some spot on the crystal placement. It looks like shiny. Um, it doesn't look like really flawless at all. So give it a swipe and you can key it again it's take a little bit it take um it one two two step more but because you chalk them the clients actually on the top of the service so i think it's fair to really like take a little bit time and like have make it nice and flawless for the clients so then they'll be happy they can either do matte top coat or shiny top coat all right so key this on for 60 seconds and then all of this beautiful nails for you tonight is all done. Make sure you wipe this off. And I'm using this pretty much from our um, anniversary kit. I took some of them out here. It's a great steel charm to get this one with 20% off of um, special memorial week. I will put a couple of them back into my right here so I can show you. It's really staying really nice on the compartment. Stay nice and safe right here. 20 different, uh, the best seller crystal. Have something on this one right here. Is have a perfect drop and uh, um, AB tablets and then have the crimson's drop and what shape is that? Is it a diamond shape? I think. And polished right, 3Ds. It's really stunning and fun. So we did it in like a couple days ago, and then we have the neon um, diamond shards mix. We have raindrop, we have raindrop in neon, we have Supreme's raindrop, we have arrowhead, like all of this cool thing. And then you have um, diamond shard, diamond shard, violets, um, diamond shields, and amber tablet, and then perfect pair. This one, the uh, opal, um, white opal drop, and also is uh, perfect oval, I think, and then it have a mix of uh, glow in the dark mega mix, uh, different sizes and different colors. And then this one, I took some of them out. 
on the other tray. So this is Mega Mixed Color Crystals. And it comes with your crystal pickers, your two trays and scoop, and your... Um, it also comes with the uh, precision glue, one of this. Uh, I need that one, the precision glue. One of this, pickers, uh, scoop and trays, and also it's a 5G of condensed glue gels. So that's a, such a great kit, and you also you can take 20% off from the holidays as well. I want to show you right here. I don't know which one is your favorite, so it's really hard to choose. Let me remove this because I have some wax residues on my brush, on my picker. I'm gonna wipe it up now. Here you go, ladies. Hi, Aurora. How are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, I see you from Honduras. Hello, thank you so much for tuning in. Nails beautiful. Thank you, love. Yellows with the redstone. Sarah, I like the number three. Oh, hold on. This number three or is this number two? This is number two. No, this is number two. Do I do it right? I think I did it right, right? Hmm. Did it go by? Did it go by? Um, it's, in order? Yes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Three and four. Same chapter, but yeah, one, three, and four. I switch it. One three and four see so it's awesome because you know what sometimes when I seeing all different like I say oh I like it so much it doesn't mean it's as everybody like it so I you know always trying to incorporate a lot of different things so then that way we can enjoy it together one three and four one three and four Minerva live one three and four Hi, Crazy Claus. Hey, Sutton. Foxy, like one, three, and four. Janae, like three and four. That's awesome. Sarah, like the yellow with the red stone. I like that too. You know, you notice that is shiny and a matte too. So when I give it a swipe, it looks really good. But if you feel like if still have some shiny here, you can go ahead and go back again to touch it up wherever you feel shiny so then it give the clients that feel really good about getting a matte top coat with crystal placement so three four are my favorites but all are beautiful thank you so much april love so much for all of you support and two and four so it really cool though i don't know i like them all because guess what because i got to create it with all of you and sonia like the two Sonia likes Sarah. Sarah likes too, too. Sarah did a really cool live video earlier, too. Peace, cowboys. Yes, yeah, so that foil looks different in all of them. I think it looks really cool even if you're doing it on... It's going to be stunning in like a pink colors. Like have a baby pink. It looks cool, though. And also, it looks really good in um, black as well. It looks so stunning white it looks also good so but i would like to do all different colors so then you get a different ideas for that foil look um i know thank you a lot fast i don't get to see you lady tomorrow i will see you on monday again and monday's whole team it will able to uh, expand and uh we all vote we're gonna see the the, the post on facebook that all the different um is Press on and glue on contact and we're so, so excited. We can't wait. And thank you so much everyone for participate. You know, be honest, on bottom, you know, in bottom of my heart, I think everybody is already a winner. So thank you so much for taking your time. 
and taking a challenge and then you have fun with this it's more important is you have fun because you love what you're doing that's why you create all different fun nails with that and um we'll be announcing the winners uh on monday was a three price but then everyone everybody i for me you know my personal i feel like it's all of you is already a winner so it's just like i think it's just um we just have to announce it but everybody is just amazing and everybody have a different idea of press on and glue on that is so impressive and thank you so much for sharing with us and uh join with us for that contest is if we have a lot of people enjoying it love it we're gonna do more it's gonna make it fun it's not gonna be too like crazy um intensive and aggressive it's supposed to be fun and inspire each other so i really appreciate it and i'm so glad everybody enjoying and some of you could enjoy it this time um we can always doing it next time and um Life as I'm going here online shopping now. Um, the Facebook, Sonia, is going to be a Facebook for um, Glitz Accessory and such. So if any of you haven't get chance to be on uh, Facebook, if you have Facebook page, you can also like us on Facebook page. And whenever we running like um, a giving away or contest, you always get to like extra account like on it if you're doing a both facebook and uh instagram uh is extra like uh, entries on it i think but then if you win once you can't win the other so like if you win some on instagram so you can't win on facebook but um you can also like like on facebook we streams on both facebook and instagram and very soon in the future we're able to stream it on youtube as well so all that um fans on youtube can get to watch us like on live as well and really thank you so much for the love and support you know on behalf of the team um i really really appreciate your support and um thank you so much for you know always uh tuning in to our live video and participate in a lot of fun uh, contests and giveaway with us and thank you so much and sarah with me so right now as we are um like what well, earlier if you haven't get chance to see sarah if you new to tuning in sarah's um she have the code that pins right there and when you're using her code well today is the last day for a 20 percent off the memorials weekend uh, most of the products and if you're using code sarah s a r a s uh, on glitz accessory and such to get the free shipping of 79 dollars normally is free shipping of $150 so thank you so much for love and support and there's few hours left that if you would like to grab what you left off is great time to grab it now and doesn't matter even if you just get your um one up item if you have to choose and we still have a lot of questions for beginners asking for how you know or what should you get for your uh, crystal placements and if you want suggestion and one item you want to just like go online and pick it up and you know like get it beside other thing you need for the crystal placement is the trifecta and it's really special we're doing it special because we're doing it for you and uh it's special sales already but also you will still able to take your 20 percent off from that trifecta which is you're gonna have one size of condensed wool gels no white top coat and pre-season glue and also you'll get free of um, your uh, crystal uh, jars which is come in the mega mix and mix sizes and mix shape uh, mix sizes and mix colors I'm sorry all different colors and all different sh shapes so then you can able to play with so um, that's this one it's special is for you because you asked for it and um, what else did I forget? And we are as all the enters in for a press on and glue on is gonna be announced the winners on Monday. So I don't get to see you tomorrow. And I'm not sure if Sarah's going live tomorrow. She's gonna announce with us. Um, please stay tuned on her page, and uh, she's got a lot of ideas for sharing it's all different techniques and cool. Um, and I will definitely. 
Yay, thank, thank you for a fun competition. You are very welcome, Farsi. This is for all of you. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Nuna, Livas, April. Hi, Bella. Uh, just make sure that I'm not missing anyone. Um, so let's see. I just want to make sure I say, CC, where do you get your products? Oh, thank you so much, April. Thanks so much, Foxy and Janae. Um, I will definitely gonna see you tomorrow uh, on Monday, and Sarah will see you sometime. I don't know, is it tomorrow or gonna be on um, Monday? So, uh, stay tuned for Sarah post, and I will. <laughs> Thank you so much, um, Minerva. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Bella. You do the same. Have a great Sunday if you're going out. Uh, if you're in the state, allow me to be out. Please be safe and take good care of yourself and your family. I love you all and I really, really appreciate it. We're going to definitely gonna see you on Monday. Have a great Sunday and have a good night. Thank you.